Hi everyone, it's TJ. Welcome back to New Zealand Mysteries. Now, Happy New Year. It's 2021, we actually made it. And I hope that this year is going to be better for so many people in so many ways. 2020 was absolutely ghastly. It was horrible. So hopefully, positively, moving on. I'm doing a small series missing in New Zealand and I'm going to look at um, a few different files and stuff. But at the first instance, I'm going to look at the police website and talk about the cases that are on their missing persons list. So let's go. So this is the New Zealand Police website. It has a range of information, advice and services and all sorts of things there. Um, there's a lot of places to go you can look up. Um, paying a fine, news, report cases obviously, and lots of advice for victims uh, as well. So I'm going to go onto this tips page here and anyone can go to this place. It gives you great tips on family violence, drugs and alcohol, uh, trying to detect cybercrime and all that. But we're going to go and go to missing persons. And just before we go in, there's some advice and support um, and how to report a missing person or provide information about a missing person. If you have any information about any of the people that uh, are pictured, featured on this video, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously 0800 555 You can also just go and find them online. You can call 105 or contact the police. Uh, if you want to see us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash NZ Mysteries and our uh, website, newzealandmissing.wordpress.com would be great to have you there. So as you can see, we're now in a missing persons list of what the police have on file and we're going to go to this first one. So this is Adriana's Burkhardt. Disappearance on the 8th of July 2020 from Whangarei. For circumstances, Adriana Burkhardt has not been heard from since 8th of July 2020. Police and family have concerns for Mr Burkhardt's welfare. If you have any information regarding his disappearance, of course, please call or contact the police or Crime Stoppers. Reference number 200709 9372. You might remember this young man. He was the for, uh, foreign exchange student from France, Eloy Roland. I'm going to call him. Uh, went uh, disappearing on 6 of March 2020 from Birkenhead and was said to be last seen in the Piha area. Now, just as lockdown started, this is when he went missing. So it really hampered people searching, and also his parents couldn't come over from France, uh, which is really really sad. So it says. He is a, an exchange student from France. He was seen last on the 6th of March 2020. Um, contact 105, where well, you can do it online. Reference number 2003-10-8987. And then the pictures go all the way. This is Julian Barley. He went or disappeared on the 23rd of January 2020. Tauranga was the location. Julian Valley has been missing from the Tauranga area since January 2020. Now I know his family are very active, especially his sister on social media. Uh, she needs to know what happened to her brother. There's got to be someone out there. So if you know anything, reference number 200128-0613. You can contact Crime Stoppers or your local police. If you know anything about the disappearance of Julian Barley. This is Michael Murdoch. We're going back, starting to go back in years now. Uh, he went... Missing on the 26th of September 2019 from Narawahia. Uh, Michael Murdoch has been missing since then. 
and it has no other information. The reference number though is 191001-96200. So if you've seen this guy, if you have any information, please call or let somebody know. This is Joseph Webb. He went missing on the 23rd of July 2019 from Whakatane. For circumstances, police are appealing for the public's help to locate 24-year-old Joseph Webb. He was last seen at Kohi Point in Whakatane about 3pm on Tuesday the 23rd of July. Joseph is of medium build with short dark hair. He has a tamoko on his left upper arm and may be wearing dark coloured track pants. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is urged to call the police on 105. The file number for him is 1907 24 slash 0842. If you have any information about Joseph Webb. This young lady is Jessica Boyce. She went missing from Renwick, Marlborough. She is about 158 centimetres in height, slim build. She was went missing on 20, 19th of March 2019. So circumstances it has here, 27 year old Jessica Boyce was last seen on Tuesday 19th of March 2019 in Renwick, Marlborough. She was driving a red Holden Route AO Ute. The vehicle was located at Lake Chalice, North Bank, Wider on Friday the 22nd of March 2019. So I know in this case there's a lot of family um, that I've talked to and friends that are very very sad still you know they want their baby back. Um, her reference number if you know anything 190-322-7217 if you know anything about the disappearance of Jessica Boyce please let somebody know. Uh, this young man, I'm going to try and pronounce his name, Gu Kwong Wu, uh, but he went by Lawrence, went missing on the 12th of March 2019 from Auckland, height at 178 centimetres, medium build, and for distinguishing features, he wears glasses. For his circumstances, uh, it says 22-year-old, also known as Lawrence, was last seen on March 10th, 2019 on Sainsbury Road, St. Luke's, Auckland. His car was later located on March the 12th, 2019 at Piha Beach Car Park. The reference number for Lawrence, 190312-9059. If you have any information about his disappearance, Please contact someone. We're starting to go back in time a little bit. This is Teresa Ehrlich. She went missing on the 4th of February 2018. She's said to be a Māori woman and went missing from Kaitaia. Circumstances, Teresa Ehrlich was last seen hitchhiking on the 4th of February 2018 in Awanui, far north. Miss Ehrlich was wearing a bright yellow jacket and three-quarter black pants. It is believed that she was heading south to Kaio Kirikiri area, but had also mentioned wanting to go to Auckland and Wellington. Her reference number 180208-6005. If you have any information about Teresa and her disappearance, please contact the police. Remember, Crime Stoppers are 100 555 You can call 105 or you can contact your local police. This beautiful young lady is Leonie Emery. She went missing on the 9th of January 2018. She's a Maori woman and went missing from Auckland. For circumstances, Leonie has not been in contact with family since January 2018. She was last seen in Pairoa on the 28th of the 2nd, 2018. Her reference number 190222 slash 9022. If you have any information, 
about Miss Emery Leone, please call the police or let the police know. This is Marie Wilkins who went missing in 2017 on the 7th of November from Whangateo, Auckland. The circumstances, they say 85 year old Marie Wilkins was last seen at Lee Cottage Residential Care Centre on the 7th of November 2017. A reference number if you know any information about what happened to Marie, 171108-1. Sorry, slash one eight four eight. I'm sure there's family here that are wondering what happened to perhaps their mum or their grandma. Very, very sad. If you have any information, please call. This is Ethel Turner. He went missing in 2017 on the 11th of July from Nelson, said to have a slim build. The circumstances. Ethel Turner, aged 62 years, was last seen at Nelson Hospital on the 11th of July 2017. Reference number 181116 slash 6851 if you have any information on Mr. Turner. This is Richard Hankley. He went missing on December 12th. 2015. He is a European man who went missing from Christchurch. He is 184 centimetres in height and he often wears a beanie or a hat. For circumstances, Richard Hinckley was seen at Kiwi Bank in Edgeware on the 12th of December 2015. He has not been seen or heard from since. A reference number if you know anything about Richard Hinckley's disappearance. 160210-8867 If you know any information about what happened to Richard, please contact the police. This is Mike Beckenridge. He was or went missing on the 13th of March 2015. He's an Asian male and went missing from Invercargill. For circumstances, Mike was last seen in the Catlins, Southland on the 16th of March 2015 with his stepfather John Beckenridge. Mike was aged 11 at the time. He was taken from James Hargist High School in Vicargill by his stepfather John. On May the 6th, the vehicle John and Mike had been travelling in was located off the Catlins coast. For the reference number, if you know anything, 150313-6252, if you have any information. That is his stepfather, John. And that's the young man. This is Peter. I'm going to refer to him as Peter, but his real name is Tupilaga Talalele. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. He went missing on the 12th of July back in 2014. He's a Samoan man and he went missing from Hutt Valley, height 175 centimetres. Circumstances, he was discharged from Hutt Hospital on Saturday the 12th of July around 7pm. Police believe that he returned to his home address in Petone but has not been seen since. Unfortunately, it says that he has medical needs that require regular supervision and there are fears for his safety as this behaviour is out of character for him. Very sad reference number if you know anything about Peter, 140715 slash 4460. If you have any information about Peter, please contact the police. This is William Carey Blair. Uh, he went missing on the 8th of March 2014 and he's a European man going missing from the Marlborough Sounds. Height 177 centimetres and build medium. Now I'm going to read out what these circumstances say here because this is what police have but I have heard a couple of things wrong with this and it may not be entirely accurate. So it says that he left Marlborough Sounds in a 9 metre Senator aluminium boat at approximately 4pm on Saturday the 8th of March 2014. 
The boat was later located drifting off the coast of New Plymouth without Mr. Blair. His whereabouts are still unknown. I've heard, and don't come for me because it's not facts, but I've heard that the boat had nothing to do with it. So, you know, who knows? But if you know anything about this guy and what happened to him, his family want him back dearly. Reference number 140311 forward slash 0308. If you know any information about William Carey Blair, please call the numbers. This is Christian Ulf Prien. He disappeared on 25th of February 2014. He was a European man. He went missing from the Nelson Lakes National Park. The circumstances. Last seen tramping the Travis Saddle in the Nelson Lakes National Park. If you know anything about the guy, the reference number 140317 forward slash 779. If you have any information on what happened to Christian. This is Rene. What, I'm sorry, I'm not even going to pronounce that last name because I'll just butcher it. He went uh, missing on the 28th of August, way back in 2011. Said to be a European and went missing from Lake Hawia. Distinguishing features Rene is from Germany and was working in Queenstown. Circumstances uh, Rene is from Germany and was working as a chef in Queenstown, New Zealand, and he was kayaking on the lake when he disappeared. The kayak has since been recovered from the lake. Reference number 110901 forward slash 3270. If you have any information about what happened to this landlord. This is Troy Liddington. He went uh, missing way back in 2010 on the 13th of October. He's a Māori man. Location, Kaipara District. His height is set at 179 cm and he is medium, medium built. As far as circumstances, uh, Troy told the people he was staying with that he was going for a walk in the Waipawa Forest late afternoon Tuesday 13th of October 2010. He went outside and hasn't been seen since. If you know anything, his reference number 101018 forward slash 6199 if you have any information about what happened to Troy. Lurlington. For this one, we're going right back down to 2008. So this this man, Matthew Alexander Hamill, disappeared 29th of October 2008. He's said to be European and went missing from Queenstown. Height 175 centimetres. As far as circumstances go, Matthew Hamill left his place of work at 1400 hours on Wednesday, the 29th of October 2008. His vehicle was found parked at the Roaring Meg car park between Queenstown and Cromwell at 15.30 hours the same day. He has not been seen or heard of since. Reference 081030 slash 3392 if you have any information about what happened. This guy is William Taikato. Now, he went missing in 2007, uh, the 19th of December. I don't know if it's just me, but it's December like a month that everybody goes missing. I'm sure I've said that so many times. So he's a Māori uh, man. went missing from Tauranga. His height, 177 centimetres, medium build, and for distinguishing features, he has tattoos on both arms. For circumstances, he was last seen in Papamoa, Tauranga. William's disappearance was reported to police as family and associates had not seen or heard from him for some time and he had not followed through with plans for Christmas in 2007. William told associates he was going to pick his car up in Welcome Bay Road, Tauranga and was never seen again. Reference number 08. 0130-5332 if you have any information on William Taikaso.
This is Daryl Crawford. He went missing in 2007 on the 16th of August. So he's a European and the location Tauranga. His height 175 centimetres of slim build. Circumstances. Daryl was last seen leaving his house in Oropi, Tauranga by friends on the 12th of August 2007. The car he drove, a black, black Nissan, was located in Mountain Road, Tauranga, a few days later, but there has been no sign of Daryl since. If you have any information, the reference number 0708174423. If you have any information about Daryl, please contact the police. This is a picture of Trevor Henderson who went by the name Wayne. He disappeared on 31st of August 2003. Location on your photo. I apologise if I didn't say it right. Height at 185 cm, build medium. Distinguishing features, he had a goatee beard and shaved slash balding head. Circumstances, Wayne was last seen at his home on Wairamarama Road, known as Main Road locally, on Efedo. Wayne's Red Holden Commodore station wagon remained parked in the driveway at his home address after he went missing. At the time Wayne went missing, he was wearing a black removable leg cast, often called a moon boot. If you have any information, the reference number for Wayne 0309057322. If you have any information regarding this man, please contact police. Judy York, or Judith York, that like to be called Judy, went missing in 1992. We're going back a long way. It's uh, a long time for family to have to wait for answers, isn't it? She's a Māori woman and went missing from Tauranga and she's of slim build. Judith dropped her daughter off at her parents' house at 7pm on the 21st of October 92 and said she was going to the pub and would be back to collect her daughter the next day. Judith disappeared after attending a party at Tamania Orchard in Matapihi sometime between 1am and 2.30am on the 22nd of the 10th, 92, someone knows what happened to her from that party. The reference number 921101-7300. If you know what happened to Judy, please call the police. You can ring Crime Stoppers anonymously. The family needs some answers. It's been a long time. We all know this gorgeous face. Amber Lee Crookshank disappeared on 17th of October 92 from Kingston. Amber was last seen at an address in Kingston on the shores of Lake Wakatipu. Amber was two years old at the time. Reference number, if you know anything about what happened, 9210302144. Beautiful young girl. Rosy red cheeks. This is Peter Douglas Coop. He went missing on the 4th of June 1989. He's a European. He went missing from Dunedin. Height 185 centimetres, build medium. Circumstances. Peter, a doctor from Auckland, was attending a medical course in Dunedin and failed to attend his first lecture on the 6th of June 1989. He was last seen at Invercargill Airport on this day by a former colleague and has not been seen by family or hasn't been heard from since. If you know any details, his reference number 890607-4992. Going uh, further back, this is a long Disappearance. He went disappeared on the 6th of March 1987. Michael Luton from Auckland said to be slim build, distinguishing features, arms heavily tattooed with animals, horses, kangaroos, snakes, and birds, etc. Hands tattooed with love, hate on the fingers, 
circumstances. Michael was last seen leaving his home address in Henderson, Auckland, around 2 p.m. and has not been seen since. Reference number for this young man 8806243198. Please, if you have any information about what happened to Michael Luton, please contact the police. This is Luana Williams. She went missing on the 5th of June 1986. A European woman missing from Tauranga, medium build. For circumstances, Luana was last seen at her home in Gate Pa, Tauranga on the 5th of June 1986, about 6pm, by her partner. When he returned to the house later in the evening, Luana was not there. The house was open and the pets were inside, which was unusual. Any information regarding her disappearance can be given anonymously uh, through the attached forms. And, you know, Crime Stoppers is anonymous, and you can also find them online and go uh, anonymously that way as well. If you know anything about Luana, reference 860606 slash 1046. This is young Cursa Jensen. This was quite a publicised case back then. She went missing on the 1st of September 1983. Location, Awatoto Beach, Napier. She was 168 centimetres with a slim build. For circumstances, Cursa went missing on Awatoto Beach, Napier. She had been seen riding her horse along the beach and was last seen on foot leading her horse to the gun emplacement on Awatoto Beach. Cursor was aged 14 years at the time she went missing. Reference number 840113-9198. This is the last case um, for this part one. This is missing per person, Michael John Dudley. He went missing on the 3rd of April 1978. So a long time ago, he went missing from Dunedin and he was said to have a medium build. Circumstances, Michael Dudley was working for a TV repair company in Dunedin. He had some after work drinks with colleagues and then left in the work van, which had Bell TV on it to head home. He never arrived home and he has never been seen since and neither has the van. This one makes me think that surely it's a, he's had some sort of accident around the hills in Dunedin, but, you know, that's just speculation. Reference number 050923-2948 if you have any information on Mr. Dudley. Thank you very much for listening to those people. Obviously, there is hundreds of more people missing than what's on the police website and I try very hard to do videos when I can. If there's any family members that want me to do a video about a loved one just need to contact me nzmissing at gmail.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook just nzmysteries. NewZealandMissing.wordpress.com is our website and we have a shitload of missing people and unsolved cases there for you to go through and have a look. Crime Stoppers, of course, please. It's anonymous. And uh, thanks for your time. I'm out.